Let's talk very briefly about passing functions as parameters in Lambda. I'm going to start with some very simple data, a sequence of 10 numbers. And then I want to write a scan where I start with zero and I'm going to scan through the numbers and use this Lambda function to add them together in a running total. It's produced this array which is adding up each uh, row in the original array until we get down to 55 on the last row. This Lambda is just a function that takes two parameters and they can be called anything and it adds them together. That's all it's doing. It just so happens that putting it inside scan makes it behave in this way, but really it's just a function of two parameters. So if I actually save that as a function called add, now I have a function called add with two parameters. And let's add the initial value and the current row. And if I pull that down, you can see that it gives us the same result. So this is really just a function of two parameters. We can actually now use that named function inside scan. So let's start with zero, the same array. And we can actually now just type the name of the function. We don't need to type the word lambda. We don't need to put in any parameters. All we need to do for scan is provide any function that takes two parameters and it will assume that the first parameter in the function we provide is the accumulator and the second parameter we provide is the current rows value. So we can provide any function of two parameters and it will work. <coughs> and just to show you that this is not limited to scan, this is actually true of any lambda helper function, which accepts a lambda as a, as a function. So if you're familiar with reduce, it works similarly to scan, except it only returns the last row. But it expects a lambda function in the third parameter, and that lambda function must have two parameters. Well, we have this add function, which has two parameters. So we can pass that as the third parameter to the reduce function and it will give us 55, which is what we expect. Further to that, make array is also a function that expects a function as the third parameter. You can see it says rows, columns, function in the definition. So if I use make array to create an array of five rows, five columns, and if I give the add function as the third parameter to make array, it will interpret the first parameter of add as being the row position in make array and the second parameter of add as being the column position of make array because that's how the lambda in make array is interpreted. The first parameter is the row position and the second parameter is the column position. So by passing it add, I'm actually telling it to sum the row and the column position within the array. So because this is row one, column one, the result is two. And this is row one, column two, so the result is three. And this is row one, column three, and the result is four. And down here, we have row five, column five, so the result is 10. So that is an example of how to put a function as a parameter to another function. Now, just to show you that it actually doesn't matter what the function does, I'm going to put in a ridiculous example um, by creating a new function called thing. And that function is going to have two parameters. And the return text is going to be thing1, thing2. So it's a lambda with two, two parameters and the return value is just this text string. It's not actually using these parameters. But because I've defined it with two um, 
parameters, it can now be used in any other function that expects a function with two parameters. So I can actually put it in this make array and you can see that it returns the same value in every cell and it's also true of reduce and scan. So what's the lesson here? The lesson is we can pass function names as parameters and providing the function we're passing it into has, is expecting the number of parameters that the function we pass has, then it will work. So this function could be anything. But this is an important thing to remember about Lambda. We can pass pre-made functions as parameters into other functions. And that's it for today.